hello, hello, beloved. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. How's your Friday been? This week has been a little hectic, you know, ups and downs. But you know what is always the downs that pushes me. And when I think of coming on the show, oh gosh, I get so excited. You know why? Because I'm doing what I love and love what I'm doing. So what is it that you love doing? Have you ever had a dream or a goal to be a speaker on stage, nationally or internationally? And the dream has been buried. Don't worry if that's your dream. Because in the studio today, I have a guest who is going to help you and tell you some few tips. And maybe even you can join this academy and how you can become a speaker. And with me in the studio is none other than Des O'Connor, founder of Women in Business. Hello, Des. How Hello. are you? Oh, great. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for having me on <laughs> How are you show. doing? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thank you. Good to have you again. And again, thank you. You know what? You're going to be a regular on this show. I can see that. Anything to help. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a regular. How has it been since the last time you were on the show? Oh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing opportunities. Um, I had a few events that you attended to yeah. as well, and it's just gone from strength to from strength. From strength to really strength. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Good, good, good. That's wonderful. Everything has been well with me as well. Fantastic. And I know we have a few things to cover today. Day. Definitely. And I'm looking forward to it. Because, you know, when it comes to speaking on stage, um, a lot of people are frightened. Just the mere thought yeah. of actually standing on stage and speaking, people get actually frightened. Yeah. And actually, I think a lady shared and said her tongue becomes very dry that she can't even open her mouth. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. So but of course, stories. you have the technique for that. Yes, there's, I mean, the whole... Pr the reason why people may feel that way is the conversation and what they're telling themselves leading up to that. You know, I used to be like that. I used to be like that when I uh, when I first spoke on stage. I was petrified. I didn't know what to do. I had nobody guiding me. And it's what you believe about yourself. It's what you believe. Oh, I'm, you know, what people are going to be thinking about me? Am I going to be uh, not funny, or am I going to say the wrong things? Mm. Are they going to like me? Because one of the most important things people want to uh, achieve on stage is be liked. That's the thing, but then I think when you think about it too much, that's where you much, make mistakes, yes. and you have to be yourself. And that's why, yes, and yes. that's why you have to change the conversation you're having with yourself leading up to that, mm -hmm. because leading up to that, you're going to be talking negative thoughts. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm, I, I don't know if I can do it, Who, what people are going to say about me, but if you s switch that and turn it upside yeah. down, and say positive affirmations like, I'm confident, yeah. I'm going to smash it, people are going to love me, I'm going to do well, That's I'm going right. to get a stand innovation. That's right. You project that when you go on stage. And people will eventually like you, of course. Of course they but will. If people can actually tell when you're projecting fear, you know? Yes, they can tell right. from your body language. But yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, that's right. But the main important thing is be yourself, as you mm. rightly said. You must be yourself because people aren't stupid. People, the audience in the room can see whether you're just selling, 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 and lying. Absolutely, absolutely. Be authentic because people buy the realness. They do, they yeah. do. It's good to be authentic. That's so right. So here, you've got to be authentic when you're on stage. So one thing before, actually, we are going to kick off the conversation with why you decided to work with women. Why women in particular? A couple of a good question, actually. There's a couple of reasons. One, um, as a young boy growing up, I was uh, my father was around, mm -hmm. um, but my mum, I was mainly brought up by my mum and my sisters okay. as a boy growing up. I even had a nanny that was, which a lot of people do, you know, yes, this, you know. <laughs> and um, I love that environment, you know, when you have that environment surrounded by women, mm. I was spoilt badly, oh. so I've been warned. My mum warned me about, you know, when I eventually settled down, she feels sorry for the wife I end up with. <laughs> But I was, I was spoiled, and I loved that environment. They were pampered and they spoiled me. So what I decided to do was recreate that, but in a personal, positive I environment. Like so you cannot beat the environment surrounded by women in a big environment. You've been to my event I before, have been to your event, And yes. the energy in the room would be completely different it was if it was a lot of men in the room. That's very true. That's very and true. The reason, the reason why I like doing that is because uh, women like to share. They do. Women they are do. very emotional. Yeah. Mm. And when you have those two things, they're real. They are real. Mm. And I'm a real person. So I just thought, well, why don't I recreate that? Mm -hmm. But in a way, make it into a positive experience for the women. Uh, there's women there that have never spoken on stage before, um, lack confidence, do not believe in themselves. And it could be that just the environment that they have around them is mm. not letting them, enabling them to achieve their greatness, what they want to achieve. So I decided to create, to create this. And what I realized was that the majority of the seminars here in the UK uh, are predominantly run by men. 
and they're predominantly run by men and they're not providing women with the opportunities to speak. A good platform for women good platform to speak. To speak. Mm. And I've been working with women over the last 12 years. I originally used to work with dating and relationship conferences, so most of the speakers are going to be women. And I totally disagreed with that. And I agree that we, as both both sexes, men and women, we need we can learn from both each oh, other. Absolutely, absolutely, we can. We, we can, can both learn from each yeah. other. So I decided to turn that around and launch Desocon as Women in Business, and uh, I provided opportunities for first-time speakers, women, women that have just maybe done one or two events that want to raise their profile. Mm. But what we also do is we provide them with a professional showreel, so when they're on stage, they can use that. They can use that. And the amount, I mean, over the last 18 months when I launched, I put over 130 people on stage. 130. Over, and, and these are people who have never spoken on stage it's, before. It's a combination of okay. um, women who have never spoken on stage before, done a little, even mm -hmm. a celebrity that you came to yes. the last one. Uh -huh. And I cater for all the women. Okay. And the ones that have never spoken on stage before, it's just raised their confidence. They're sharing videos left, right, and centre. And I think having the ha having the video actually even boosts their confidence. Definitely, because they can see what they've done. They can yes. believe it. Mm. It raises their confidence. And there's there's women because once they've raised their confidence like that, it will filter out into all the other areas absolutely, of their life. Absolutely, absolutely. Because then if they think, "Wow, I didn't think I could do that," and then the con all the other things that they didn't think they could achieve become easier becomes easier. because of their mindset that's true. of what they're telling themselves and the belief of what they're showing them and when they're sharing it on my clients share it on my warm mm. on facebook share it all over all over the world linkedin everywhere people are commenting giving them positive feedback mm. well done we love you and that makes them feel oh, absolutely it does so much it does. more fulfilled. nothing like positive affirmations oh, and compliments. fulfilled <laughs> To the point now they're saying, I've had clients of mine, women saying, I want to speak at every event from oh, now on. <laughs> so you're fully booked. Fully, well, I'm trying to have to strike the balance because I want to bring in some new ones as of well. Course, of so, course, yeah, of course. It's all about striking the balance. And yeah. has your mum been to any of your events? My mum's not around. She passed away. Oh, sorry. Oh, That's sorry. Right. Oh, sorry. Right. I didn't know that. That's I didn't right. know that. I, I believe you've been crowned number one, UK's number one um, consulting for creating women in business. Yes. How did that come about? Well, I've been researching a lot of what people have been doing working with women in business and there was nobody near to do what I was doing with these numbers as well. And there's a lot of networking events. Of oh course. yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot. And one of the things that I realised was that uh, there was lots of women in business events and groups, but there were miniature, there were small, 30, 40 maybe women gathering and it would be like in a little room and they would just be sharing, which is great. But not on stage, just sharing no, seated. But I wanted to provide a massive platform for them. Okay. I wanted to raise their confidence. I wanted to... To create the atmosphere of being on create stage. Create the atmosphere, but also help them with their logo, their website, their branding. Because I don't just put them on stage. So you I, do the total package. I have a complete business in a box. Because over okay. the years, that's what I've been doing with my business anyway. So when a, when a woman comes to me, I can see what needs to happen. Whether they want a show, whether they want an exhibition wrap banner, um, whether they want business cards, flyers, social media, or even if they want to speak internationally mm -hmm. as well. And I think it works well because you would have known the person and be able to design it the way that you know you would sell, isn't it? That's right, that's right. Oh, I you like know, that. When you I get like a woman that. come to my event and she's got a table, she's got a roller banner, mm -hmm. she's got I've flyers, seen. <laughs> you've seen it, you've witnessed yes, it. Yes, I have, and, I have and they're witnessed so happy. it at the event. And it just, it just makes, them, makes them more for trusting because mm. everything's in one place. They come to me, I have a team, and then they come to me and then they can, like, you know, contact me whenever they want and I get everything done that they need mm. very fast and very quickly and it works and professionally done of course professionally, definitely. we have to add that definitely because there are a lot of crafty people out there well yes <laughs> <laughs> and what other services do you provide besides uh, speaking on stage there's I help them with uh, their website so if someone's oh. just starting out and they they need a new website mm -hmm. or improve their website we can design write up the website um, provide them with their logos if they need new business cards because some people just don't know where to start. And they're also yeah. editing their videos if they need to be Edited, edited. professionally editing your videos. If you go on my uh, Facebook, you can see proper videos. They're not just plain. No. They've got banners, they've got titles, they've got subtitles, yes. got their name, and it's they're really professional because that video, they can share that to other promoters oh, like myself. absolutely, they can. And they see them on stage and they're going to mostly be work with them mm. compared to somebody that's not doing that i know it's called women in business and i know when i attended your event the last time yes i saw a few pocket of men yes so are you working with men now oh yes i'm not excluding men okay i don't believe that's 
we all can learn from each other. Oh, the women absolutely. can all learn from the men, and the men yeah. can learn from the women. And there's men out there that would like to work with women mm. as well. And uh, I started off with women in business, and in the beginning, I thought, oh, I'm just going to focus on women. But then I had a lot of men that were working with women that could provide value to my events for the women. Mm. And that's how it's been working. So I'd say three quarters of the people I work with are women. Are women. And the quarter are the men. I mean, I'm launching in uh, the States and one of the speakers is a man. He wants to come out there and, and, okay. and speak as well. So, um, no, men, men are more than welcome to attend and to um, speak on stage as so well. So, men, you hear, if you're a man <laughs> and sitting out there or you're a lady watching and you know a man who would like to be on stage, please, please do send him over to Des O'Connor. His details are going to be down at the bottom where you can actually reach him. Actually, your website is desoconnor.com, right? Desoconnor's, with an S on the end. Yeah, with the S and N. Okay, desoconnor's.com. Okay, you go on that website and you can click and request on how you can actually be one of the women or man that yeah. wants to work with him. Everything's on there. Yes. Um, there's something else that I noticed actually last time when I came on your show, when yeah. I came on your event, yes. um, which was, despite the fact that you work with, I'm not saying ordinary people, but you also work with celebrities. Yes. Yes. Um, Rachel Elnor, who was the, um, the first female on Dragon's Den and Dragon's Den is the equivalent of uh, in America I think they have something called Shark oh yes I've watched that yeah, yeah. so it's the equivalent of equivalent that. of Shark and uh, for the people in the States I don't know what of that course, is of course of course and um, she contacted me she saw what I was doing and um, so she actually reached out to she you she reached out to me and said I like what you're doing for women in business she's all about empowering and 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 helping women to be mm. successful and we had a few meetings conversations and the rest was history. She, you know, within 18 months, I had like a celebrity at my event, which was fantastic. It and you attended the event. Yes, that was the day when I actually attended the yeah, event. Yeah, and she sure. gave an amazing presentation. She did, she did, she yeah. did. And would you encourage anyone who is probably starting out, maybe if they're not able to reach a celebrity, it's okay. Yeah. It's the thing about it is you, you can imagine celebrities get contacted daily mm -hmm. by people, by little people that are working, are starting out and people that are established mm -hmm. and the celebrity needs to look at what's in it for them as well so i know they feel they want to help but at the end of the day they're running a business as of well of course and their and reputation will be on the line the reputation will be on the line True. so it needs to be a two-way win-win situation however um i know for a fact rachel's approachable you can inbox her on yeah facebook. she is she's very approachable actually you can, you can inbox her on facebook yeah. but if you're looking to interview celebrities uh start small build up your your brand mm -hmm. make it very attractive so that when they uh look at you they're excited look at you and they think this is going to benefit my brand it's going to uh enhance what i'm trying to achieve as well and maybe just start if you're interviewing people if it's podcasts or or webinars or facebook lives have a large selection build up your following make sure you have a good database so then when you go to uh interview them they then can be shared to a larger audience that most probably would want to work with them at the same time. Okay, we are going to go on break and we are going to play um, one of Desi's um, videos. Thank you. Just a little clip of it. So we will be back. Well, um, go and make yourself a cup of tea as well. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Thank you. If you don't have a role model, you don't have a mentor, you don't have someone who can be a little bit of an accountability partner for you, go get one. Go find someone. It makes all the difference. You can have all the great plans in place, but sometimes these beliefs come up. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. That was just a short clip. We shall play it again at the end of the show. Just to give you a taste of what Des O'Connor does. And you can always go on his website and watch the full video, of course. Now, there's another thing that I wanted to, um, to touch on was, um, I know you focus on women. And I know sometimes it's challenging working with women. But do you think women are getting the respect that they deserve with regards to speaking on stage? Which, of course, you provide. No, I don't think so. And that's one of the, that's, apart from the reason of my childhood that I've brought this into it, the other reason, which is just as important, that I believe there's lots of women that are not fulfilling their greatness within them. 
Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, we just need someone to say, you know what's going to be okay? And you just need someone to hold your hand and take you small baby steps to achieve that goal. And that's part of the re that's how I work, mm -hmm. and that's part of the reason why it's just my business has taken off rapidly in the last eighteen months. Because I think the way that I've been brought up, I was I was a good listener. Mm. I was nurtured around women, so when women, so you understand women, that's yeah. why you can work with them. I can definitely work with them and mm. instill that confidence. I've had women cry before they go on stage, and I've had to <laughs> hug them, give them tissues, make sure they're all are okay. But that's how you work with a woman. Yes, a man, you'd have to be different, saying, "Come on, step yourself yeah. up," because of the ego. Mm. And um, I'm more. But there are also tough women out there that you don't need to be very really soft, soft yes, with them. You know? Yes, yes. That soft approach. The soft approach. Yeah. But the majority, the ones that I've been working with, I remember there was one woman. She was in a toilet before she went to the, on stage, mm. and I kept, you know, giving her reinforcement of positive affirmations. And then when she went on there, she was absolutely fantastic. So there are some challenges. You do get that. I'm not saying uh, what I've been doing is absolutely fantastic oh, not at all. i don't think there's anything in life without challenges yeah that's right and i'm always learning from that and but... it's the challenges that actually spurs you on and actually you look forward to working with the women isn't it that's right. because when you see the end product oh when it's... i see when i see uh, them on stage when i see them um, um sharing the videos and thanking me mm. you can't put price on that because then you just change their life oh absolutely that fear absolutely. they had is mm. gone it's gone so if they've been carrying that fear around with them for 10 20 years and sometimes even longer even longer yeah. and then just by a split sec split second by working with me putting them on stage mm -hmm. and when they see the show will they say realize how good they were and they can learn from that and then they can share that and then there's women that have had more speaking opportunities based on that based on that and there's a new project coming on in the pipeline isn't it yes i'm so excited about that yep. um Going across the Atlantic? Atlantic. Um, <laughs> I'm launching uh, my Des O'Connors with Women in Business. I'm so excited. In America. In the US. The US, California, at the Marriott Fairfield Hotel. And when is that going to be? That's going to be on August the 30th and August the 31st. It's so it's the, August the 30th and 31st. Yep. Yeah, two day event. In California. In California. Okay. And uh, um, uh, a, a, a events management team called um, legendary events by Tonya contacted me. They see that they saw what I was doing. They've been checking me out for a while and we're in communication. We've got the hotel booked and now we're communicating with the speakers. It's going to be very similar to uh, what, what you I, have here. What I have here. Okay. And, um, and also, it's not just going to stop there. We are, they want to take this in another five cities. I think New York, San Diego, Atlanta. That's wonderful. And we're looking at Canada as well next year. So as hopefully, well. all the ladies that you've worked with here in the UK will be able to fly to the US. Definitely. Speaking of speaking opportunity. So my clients that I'm working with, it's not just in a London event or a Birmingham mm -hmm. event. I did say from the beginning, I'm going to be taking this international. Oh, absolutely! I remember you mentioning that. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned it. And mm -hmm. what you put out there in the universe, it's oh, come yeah, back. Oh yeah, it comes back. Yeah, it does. You've got back. to speak it out. You've speak got to it speak out. <laughs> I don't think it'd be so soon, um, but it's happened. I'm really happy about it's that. Happened. Because, I'm excited for you. Thank you, because then now it's gone from one woman or man, well, mainly the women, spoken at one event, happy about that. Maybe another one, and all of a sudden they could be speaking in America. In America, just like that. Wow. And. There's and no, have you got the speakers already? We've speak. We've had so many people that want to apply. So you're vetting. We're, so we're vetting. We're going through the vetting process. It's a two-day event. Okay. I think we're going to have about maybe seven speakers per day. Um, but over in the US, they do things differently over in the UK because they want to. They want to go on on trips and all of that, okay. and they want me to have meals and workshops all and all right. lots of so stuff. So you've got to factor all that in. I've got to factor all that in, but so, I'm excited about it. Really so the excited. women that you're looking for for speaking um, in the US, would it only be the women you've worked with? Or anyone can apply. Oh no, no, no! Not just not just those. Anyone can apply. Okay. I, I, it's quite interesting. I I speak to now about three women from America that want to know how it works because some of the people from America want to come and speak in the UK. Because I like that. Because uh, it's a big thing in America, mm -hmm. you know, coming over to speak in the UK. Of because course. apparently, if they speak in their states or even Canada. They don't really class themselves as international. Mm. But if they come all the way over to the oh, yes, UK, then you become an international speaker. It's, it's become an yeah. international speaker. I like that collaboration. And also because they see how I work mm -hmm. and they see the videos and the show reel. Mm. So that enables them to have that to market, to all, market over yes. the, all over the world for them as well. So yeah, I'm excited. It's going well. And um, people want to speak. And um, we're just going to provide value on the day. And also 
prior to this, I was holding massive dating and relationship conferences. Yeah, I was what... going to ask you about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to come on to that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but since you mentioned it, go ahead and talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so now, because they, um, I hold you know, the biggest dating and relationship conferences yeah. in the UK, um, I hold, I hold a, an annual event in London. The last one I held, I had about 20 speakers, and there was uh, 250 people And why did it. you go into dating and relationship? Oh, I fell into that. I came out of a painful divorce about 12, 13 years ago. I studied life coaching, and then I was very angry about the divorce. And then when I started uh, studying, and I studied and qualified as a life coach, I realized a lot of people are not aware of this coaching taking responsibility. Mm. And I had to take responsibility for everything that went wrong in of my course, life. Of instead course, Instead of blaming. It's very but I didn't important. know that. Yeah. I didn't know that at the time. And I thought, wow, let me hold these events and have all these experts yes. on stage. And there were people that were sharing their story that was inspiring mm. the audience for that as well. And uh, they now want me, <laughs> legendary events also want me to hold dating and relationship conferences. The same time in August or are you going to do it at a later no, time? No, we're going to do it at a later time. I think they want me to hold one in San Diego in March, in the in spring March, next okay. year. Is there anything that you want to share with our viewers that we haven't actually touched on <laughs> looking at the time? <laughs> all, all I would say is um, it's, it's great to be on this show. And um, if there's anything that you you're having limiting beliefs about that you're thinking, I don't think I can achieve that. Just come along to one of these events. Uh, there's about, I think, over 100 speakers on my website that I've shared the stage with mm. or have been on my platform. Check them out. Join, follow them on social media. See what they're doing. Because all it takes is you may just go and attend one of their events and connect with the right person on there. And all of a sudden, your life could change That's and true. and you know don't be afraid you know you know fear fear is just something that you're telling yourself mm. and uh you know surround yourself with the right people around you i'm always saying that to people you know if you you have any doubts or have low self-esteem look at the people around you change those people around you if they're not serving you mm. and have good positive uplifting people that can lift you because we all have bad days. I have oh, days absolutely, as well. we do. Actually, to tell you the truth, I woke up this morning and I had a really bad day. But I, I had to pick myself up and yes. say, "Lily, you're coming on the show." Yeah, we with me. We <laughs> Why should you be upset? I'm exactly. excited about that. <laughs> Oh, well, we all have bad days but i like what you said because i think with every dream to come alive you have to believe in yourself yeah yeah and you know it's, it's very one of the things that i realized when i was studying to be a life coach is if you put bad things into your mind bad things are going to come, come out. out just like food you know and i've realized wow well, so i kept i kept reading person develop my, mm -hmm. developing myself um i still see a therapist at the moment and you know, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that because a, you well, want to develop yourself. In a, yeah, but in America, it's the norm out there. Oh, yeah, it's the, the norm. UK, if you don't have one, <laughs> <laughs> then there's something wrong. I know, with you said the UK, I'm gonna go and see my. I'm going to go and see my therapist. What's wrong with you? I know. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. Actually, because my mom lives in the U.S., she was actually thinking of sending my, my sisters and brothers to go and see a therapist. Yeah. It's the norm. It's the norm. It is the norm. So there's nothing wrong with it because you know what? You need to be better. Like, I don't remember who, did, who said this quote that the best investment you can ever make it's in yourself. is in yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. And even if that's, you don't have the money, that could just be the time. Watch a YouTube video. There's loads of inspirational speakers Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. Les Absolutely. Brown, Tony Robbins, yeah. they're all out there. Lisa Nichols, it, yeah. the list goes on and on and on. on. And of course, Linda Muyobo inspires you as well with her guests. <laughs> that's right. Actually, <laughs> see her first, show first, not those guys. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, Jessica, no. I, I love having you on the show. I love it as well. You know, it's always fun. And I wish you all the best with all your future adventures. Thank you. I really you know? appreciate that. And Thank I hope the, the project you have going on in the U.S., will you know inspire a lot of people across the atlantic thank you and they'll also come back in the uk yes and, well you know, some are already booking already to come back wonderful yes, i nice. hope i'll get to meet them well actually you know what you should come with them on the show yes i'll try and arrange that yeah. when they're coming over when yeah they come over, definitely yeah. definitely you know? bring some awesome. american vibe that's right that's right <laughs> but thank you for your support as well You're because welcome. you know if it wasn't for linda on her show um, this won't be happening. This is this is going to be aired all over the world, especially in America now. Oh, and yes. We are coming this, to the U.S. We're coming to the U.S. And you must come over to the U.S. next year. Oh, I will. On. I will. I'm actually going to see my mum in um, September. Fantastic. But I will come with you when you're doing your yeah, project. Yeah. I will definitely be Once coming. all the dates have been set, yeah. I'll put it out there. And, um, yeah, it's and I'll come, definitely. I will be there. Don't worry. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> We are going to play the clip again because I want you to get a feel of what Des O'Connor actually does, you know, and then you go on his website and register. So we're just going to play a short clip right now. Thank you so much.
you don't have a role model, you don't have a mentor, you don't have someone who can be a little bit of an accountability partner for you, go get one, go find someone. It makes all the difference. You can have all the great plans in place, but sometimes these beliefs come up about, oh, you know, I'm I feel too old to change, I'm too young, I don't know what I want to do. And we help strip all of that back. If you're the type of person that gives and gives and gives, you need to make sure you fill yourself up. This is also known as self-care. So because of my experience, I know how important it is to be grounded in a why, or a mission, or a purpose, whatever word you resonate with more. So for me, I already knew that I wanted to be inspiring and empowering. Thank you so much for coming back. I hope you have enjoyed that clip. And you know what? We've come to the end of the show, Des. Oh, no. I wish you all the best, <laughs> and I know you're going to be back again. Definitely. Remember, go to www.desoconnors.com for all the info. And I'll see you next week. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye for now. Shine bright like a diamond